They want to know about the boy. Know about the boy. They want to know about the boy. Know about the boy. They hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Mel from Kicks and Collectibles. Now, today we have the Doom Eternal Collector's Edition. Just taking a quick blast around the box so you can kind of see what's on the outside. But hey, we all want to see what's on the inside. I mean, the box is pretty nice. But that ain't what we came for. So now, just taking a look after I've taken the sleeve off. Nothing much on the inner box. It's pretty nice finish to it, but not that interesting. Cracking open the top. Now we see the goodies. So now we've got the art book on your right hand side. The steel case with the game in it, hopefully, on the left hand side. And that tape, not really entirely sure what that is yet, but we're going to find out. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to take out of the collector's edition box today is the 11 by 17 lithograph print of the Gift of Argent Power. Now, this depicts a scene from the lore of Doom, which I'll be honest, I don't know much about. But maybe the next thing will help me out with that when I pull it out the box. Now, one thing I can say is that even though I don't know much about this, this thing is beautiful. I mean, just, just look at it. That gold truly pops off that page and it's just printed on really high quality paper. Now, this is the thing I was talking about. So this happens to be the book of lore. Now this should provide some background or some detail into the universe of Doom because all I really know is that somebody opened hell on Mars and then you gotta kill the demons. That's all I really know. I mean, I suppose in a, in a in a good FPS, that's all you really want to know is why you're killing things and then kill them. Now, so the outside of this lore book is covered in, it feels like leather or maybe suede or something, but it's not just normal paper. It feels great. The whole book feels great. Not sure what the blank pages in the front of for. Maybe you want to go ahead and draw some shit in there. You can go ahead. But the artwork inside here is of a standard that makes this worth having maybe just as a standalone piece and as you can see at the bottom of the pages you get a little bit of the lore that I was talking about and the reasons behind why these demon dudes are coming around and fucking shit up now I don't really want to delve too much into this book and spoil something for people if they you know want to get it for themselves and take a look through or if you somehow come across this book on eBay so I'm just gonna fast forward through this and leave it for y'all to find out now if you recall when we looked at the way the box was packed in the beginning there was this little tape now it turns out that this tape does absolutely nothing other than it holds the code for the downloadable soundtrack that comes as part of this edition uh, it's pretty cool in its own right it's actually a pretty awesome way to deliver you know a downloadable code but does nothing more than that now we have the steel bookcase which you know it's a pretty standard steel bookcase nothing too much to describe here other than it's again covered in beautiful doom related artwork now what i'll do is i will fold this out so you can see the entire picture on the back and the front of the box now moving on to the main event and that is the wearable helmet that comes with this collector's edition package now this retails for 199 pounds and i'll leave a full list of what the package included because it's not just what you've seen in the video there are some other things that kind of make this package a little bit more worth it but let's take a look at the instruction manual that this comes with now if i hadn't have looked at this instruction manual i would have never have known that there were any light up features to this helmet so it does take two AA batteries and as you can see the compartment is just in the front at that mouthpiece and that's where the housing is that does cause a little problem when you're wearing it because it does protrude into your mouth and depending on how big your face is you know that might hurt you i personally don't have a problem with it just saying so let's take a look at the doom slayer helmet from some different angles now moving on to the side of it you can see a lot more of those really cool details you got these little spikes on the sides at the back and what appears to be bane or scorpion's mask stuck upside down onto the back of the doom slayer's head now this thing is made of i believe abs plastic it is quite durable the paint applications on this are really really nice very well done I like that muted 
green that you can see and it just you know you've got a little bit of weathering on some of the panel work there it's nice but i'll be honest it's a little disappointing at the same time due to the fact this is a game where you blow the cocks off multiple demons and splatter nut sacks across the wall with a giant fucking shotgun i would have thought that you know there would have been a little more blood or at least some blood on the helmet and it would be a little more dirty and weathered but as you can see from some of the close-ups i've just given y'all on this footage that you know it's a very well detailed helmet you can't complain about it i have some of the black series helmets and i'd say that this one that you get in a collector's edition of a video game is probably a little better quality than what i've seen uh, hasbro deliver with vader's helmet some of the stormtrooper helmets and definitely with luke's red five on the inside of the helmet you have a rubber ring around it which you know helps just getting it on and off but the only problem is is i pointed with my thumb there well i'm pointing at it now is the battery box that sticks in to your mouth when you're wearing it now let's actually go ahead and put the batteries in so you can see what the leds look like when they're lit up now this does take two double a batteries which everyone should have laying around their house but if not go get some I personally use rechargeable double A's. It just works out better for you. So you can see two of the LEDs, red LEDs in the chin. You've got a couple more on the nose area. And if we move to the side, yep, you have three more on the side and four along the top. And the three on the side carry obviously over onto the other side. So not really anything spectacular with the leds but it is definitely a nice feature to have i'd rather have leds than not have leds uh it's always a plus it's quite bright it was 11 30 i believe when i received this package so not really any point in trying to turn the lights out it won't get dark enough just showing y'all the on and off switch for those that need to know how that works that's how it works <laughs> so my favorite part of this helmet and wearing it is the way that id software have done the inside of the helmet now you can see me wrestling with getting this harness the head harness thing out but this is actually really nice it's very soft it feels nice to wear it's got a chin strap you can adjust it at the back and you can actually adjust these little side straps as well and just port those back into the helmet it has been left on baby head setting but as you can see it fits pretty nicely apologies for the background but i didn't factor that in when i decided to put <laughs> the helmet on and turn the camera around but yeah it, it fits really nice <laughs> it looks kind of cool while on i was looking at myself and it. it's quite funny but nah, it's definitely a pretty cool helmet. Tried to get some footage of the inside of the helmet, but it came out looking a bit shit, so sorry about that. So the other cool thing that I decided to pick up when buying this Doom Collector's Edition was the new Phantom Magenta Colored Xbox One controller. And as you can see, I have no idea how to open the box, so I decided to try and force it open from the sides and then discovered you just cut it. Now. I'd seen a couple promo images from Major Nelson's Instagram page and a couple more posts on Facebook and I, I actually genuinely just love this colorway and the fact that the controller is translucent at the top and then fades into that deeper uh, magenta color at the bottom. It, it's really cool. I'm not one of those guys that rushes out and buys many colored controllers. I've pretty much still got my Project Scorpio controller that my ex came with and my Day One Edition that my original Xbox One came with. Now this controller does cost $49.99, same as all the other Xbox controllers. And you know what? It's the same as all of them. The only difference being the translucent part at the top. But you know what? Xbox controllers are dope in my opinion, and it does come with two AA batteries. Guys, if you like the review, hit like and subscribe. And as always, hit me up in the comments. Peace. I wanna know about the boy. Know about the boy. I wanna know about the boy. Know about the boy.